Hi, it's Ryan. I wanted to tell you a strategy I used to do with my son when he was younger, because when my son wasn't getting his way, or we would go somewhere he didn't want to go, he would make a lot of noise. Now, when I use the term noise, what I'm referring to is arguing or complaining for the sake of arguing or complaining or just kind of venting, right, to express his displeasure with something. So when I knew we would be doing something he didn't want to do, I would front load with him. So for example, I would say, okay, tomorrow we have to go to the supermarket and then we're going to go to wherever. And I would say, because I knew he would complain when we were in the supermarket and whine the whole time, I would say, so when we go to the supermarket, I want you to know that complaining or trying to start an argument with me is not going to change us going to the supermarket. We're not going to leave any earlier. So what I was doing was I was setting the boundary with him to understand understand that your noise is not going to change what we need to do and your noise is not going to control the situation. And I would do this a day before and I would do it just in a very kind of matter of fact way. There wasn't any emotion attached to it and he would listen and often he still would make noise. But I would just say to him once, remember what we talked about yesterday and then after that I wouldn't respond to the noise because remember when you respond to noise with your attention that causes the noise to continue you know I think a lot of parents have been trained to believe that everything their child says has some profound deep meaning to it and they always have to affirm feelings and process feelings and that's just not helpful a lot of the time what it's doing is creating more noise so of course we should validate feelings but that could be just very quick I hear you're frustrated we're in the supermarket that's all all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.